You're looking at a view from a black and white uh, camera on the exterior of the Progress 66 cargo craft as it uh, moves uh, toward the International Space Station so far in flawless fashion. And now you're looking at uh, an external camera on the Progress 66 vehicle right in the middle of the crosshairs is the International Space Station. You can see in the lower left-hand corner uh, the uh, numbers uh, 5, uh, comma, 8, 3, 4. Those are kilometers counting down uh, the distance between the Progress and the International Space Station, now just 5.7 kilometers away from its target. Uh, the uh, bottom figure is the rate of closure uh, that would be uh, just uh, under 9 meters per second. And there's uh, our first uh, close-up view of the progress against the limb of the Earth as uh, progress uh, flies 250 miles above uh, eastern China, about to pass over the East China Sea. A good view of the uh, thruster firings on the progress as it uh, prepares to wrap up its uh, fly around for the uh, period of station keeping to provide an opportunity for the Russian flight controllers to assess the progress systems before the command is issued uh, for final approach. Carrying uh, 2.9 tons of cargo, the Progress uh, nears its destination now. 26 meters separating it from the pier's docking compartment. You can see uh, in the field of view the Soyuz MS-03 vehicle that is docked to the Rosviet module. That uh, Soyuz uh, was the ride to orbit for Peggy Whitson, Oleg Novitsky, and Thomas Pesquet last November. And that will be their ride home coming up in early June. Flying just past uh, an orbital sunset, now over the uh, South Pacific. Progress passing a Soyuz vehicle, seconds away from docking. Now the view from Progress, five meters away. Standing by for contact and capture. Contact. Capture. Docking confirmed. Docking confirmed at 2.30 a.m. Central Time, 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time. As progress in the International Space Station flew 250 miles over the South Pacific. A flawless arrival for the Progress 66 cargo craft, the second resupply craft to reach the International Space Station within 24 hours.